So these are all the ingredients that you need to make the curry. We have a curry mix there that we buy, but the ingredients in it are turmeric, pepper, coriander, ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, cayenne pepper, and aniseed. I would say about half a teaspoon of each. You wanna dice up your sweet potato and garlic, kind of normal sizes, and pop it in the pan just to simmer on a low heat. And while that's simmering, chop up the rest of your vegetables. The mushrooms I chop in slices and chunks, I prefer chunks, <laughs> Jan prefers slices. I kind of just do like a mix of the two. Turn that up onto high heat to let that really cook and I add in about um, a quarter of a glass of water bring that to the boil and then reduce it down. That helps it kind of steam cook through rather than using lots of oil. Once that's kind of been simmering for 10 minutes, add in your chickpeas and your curry mix. Give it a good stir. Then I'm adding in the coconut milk. Um, this is one that we've bought, you can make your own. But we just buy this one, it's really, really tasty. Then pop the lid on and let that simmer for about 20 minutes. And then dish it and serve with rice, or you could serve it with bulgur wheat, or we sometimes have it the next day in bread, or just have it with naan bread. And it's delicious, honestly, so, so tasty, so quick and easy. If you like spice, you could add in some chilli as well. I prefer this dish, kind of sweet and creamy, but if you want it a little bit spicier, then go ahead, add some chilli. These are the ingredients that you need to make the bean part of the um, Mexican bean pitas. The paprika is smoked paprika, that's really important because that's the kind of the main flavour of this dish. You will also need the pita, obviously, some salad if you want salad, and avocado. I forgot to put avocado in, but you need avocado for part of this dish. So you want to just dice up your onion and your garlic and let those simmer with a little bit of oil. And then go ahead and chop up all your fresh tomatoes. Um, you want them kind of like inch square, kind of not too big, not too small. You don't want them ever so big because you want to actually reduce them down and make the sauce, the main part of the sauce. So you want to mix those in with the onion and garlic and let those simmer on a high heat for about 15 minutes, I would say. While they're simmering, go ahead and chop up the rest of your vegetables. Again, the same kind of sizes as for the curry. After about 15 minutes, the tomatoes would have softened and I use a fish slice and kind of just mash them down a bit. You could use a masher as well, I don't have one. But you just want to kind of break up the tomatoes to reduce all the liquid and create that sauce. Then you want to go ahead and add in all your other vegetables. Then add in your smoked paprika and your pepper and give it a good mix. Cover with the lid, turn up the heat, bring it to like a simmer, boil and then reduce it. Let that cook for about 10 minutes and then add in your kidney beans. I find kidney beans work best for this dish. Just let that cook for another 15 minutes. Then we serve it with a salad, we also mash up avocado and we make pitas with the avocado. We didn't have much avocado this night, but usually we use about two or three. This is just one and a half. Luthi had munched his way through all the avocados, but um, we mash up the avocado, nothing else, just mash it, and we serve it with salad and we have pitas. You could also use a lettuce leaf and instead of using pita, if you didn't want to use bread, you could spread the avocado on the lettuce leaf and just build it up as you would with a pita. And they're called like lettuce boats. It's absolutely delicious. Sometimes I have it that way. I couldn't show you here because we ran out of lettuce. It was the end of the week. <laughs>
but Joanne's just showing you kind of like how he builds his up. So he puts his avocado in, puts the beans in, puts the salad in and eats it like that. So these are all the ingredients that you need for the Thai noodles. This is actually Joanne's dish that he's created and he always cooks this one. Um, it's absolutely delicious, really super quick and easy. Um, the spices we have there are the curry mix, turmeric and one chilli a dry chilli we use. So to begin with he's just diced up the garlic and broken up the chilli and just lets that simmer until the garlic kind of goes a brown golden colour. And then while that's kind of cooking he chopped up the onion. Now the onion you want really big chunky pieces, you don't want it fine, it's part of the dish. Um, they're really kind of sweet and crunchy so he literally just cuts them in quarters or in threes as you can see there. And the same with the pepper, all the vegetables you want them really big and chunky so they keep their crunch crisp and they don't go too soft. So once that is kind of a brown colour, you want to go ahead and add in the onion. As the onion sweats and cooks, it will break up. You don't need to break it up. And the pepper as well, he's put in. Just mix that around so it coats with the oil and then pop the lid on to let it kind of simmer and cook and sweat. The mushrooms he chops into thin slices and then he also has chunky ones as well. So once it kind of softens the onion will break up and when that's happening you want to go in and add in your beans and the spices and salt to taste. We're salting this one because Luthio doesn't eat this dish. Give it a good mix. If Luthio was having this, we wouldn't add the salt in until we've taken his part out and then we put salt in for us. Let that simmer and probably for about 10 minutes, I think he did this for, and then give it another stir. It's on quite a high heat because then it kind of cooks without sweating and making it kind of soggy. So once that's been cooking for 10 minutes, you want to go in and add your mushrooms and leave these to just sit on top, don't stir those in. Just spread them out so they all fit nicely on top and then you want to put your lid on. And then you just leave that for 5 minutes and once that's been cooking 5 minutes, stir it in so that mushrooms are all coated and then turn the heat off, put the lid on and let it sit for 10 minutes. So then the mushrooms are cooked through steam, rather than being softened they keep their crunch. I forgot to put in the noodles in the ingredients at the beginning, but we're using rice noodles, but just use any noodles of your choice. And just once they're cooked, stir those in. And once they're all mixed in, it'll be really yellow for the turmeric and then just serve it and that's it. This is a really, really nice tasty dish if you're wanting kind of that Chinese takeaway, um, but you want a healthy one at home. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed those and I'll leave all the ingredients in the bottom for each dish. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear what your favorite kind of meals are, your staple meals for the week are, um, because we're always looking for inspiration and I will see you all in our next video. Adios y hasta pronto.